Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the most recent patch notes, or hotfix as you want to call it, for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. There's not much in here, if I'm being honest. Um, it's just minute fixes and changes, stuff like that. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So they start off the patch notes with a little paragraph talking about some things. Uh, let's get right into it. Hello Task Force X. We want to start out by saying thank you to everyone who's played Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League so far. We've loved hearing about the stories you've had in Metropolis and can't wait to continue our fight against Brainiac with you. This patch mainly addresses some of the bug fix bugs and difficulty scaling issues that were affecting players as they progressed to the higher mastery levels, le mastery levels 40 and above. We hope that these changes will lead to a more balanced, varied and overall enjoyable experience as you take on ever increasing challenges. So basically, uh, <coughs> Anybody below the mastery level of 40, you won't have an issue. If you're new to the game still and still playing the story, you don't have any issues to worry about like that. Anyway, we do, however, know that some of our players are running into issues which are not addressed in this patch. These include, but are not limited to, matchmaking issues. I've had those. Login issues, I've had those too. Performance issues and progression issues, I have not had those. Among others, while we... We're not able to get those fixes implemented in this patch. Know that we are aware of the frustrations, uh, frustration these may cause, and are looking, are working on making further improvements in upcoming patches. We will be updating our non-issues channel in our official Discord in the near future as the status of these develop. Firstly, I didn't even realize they had a Discord, so I'm gonna go and join that at some point. Uh, to finish off with, we'll see you in Metropolis. So they know that th there are some other bugs and issues that need that need to be sorted, that they need to fix, which is good. And they are working on it, uh, which they have told us. So that's fantastic. And you know what? I'll commend them and I'll give them respect that they've openly said that there are other bug fixes and whatnot, that they couldn't get into this one, but they are working on it. You know what? I respect that. Honesty, transparency, that is big. We like that. And what we have up on the screen right now are the bug fixes they've put in this update, which are... Fixed a bug that was causing burning damage to scale with both player damage buffs and enemy debuffs. Burning damage should only be scaling via enemy debuffs. Now, I know this was going crazy because everybody was using burn effects and builds that related to burns. And it was just really OP. So they fixed that and they've sorted it out. So it turns out that wasn't part of the game. It was just a bug. This next one is fixed a bug that allowed Toy Man to stack multiple of the same augment on your gear. To be fair, I didn't even realize they could do that. If I did, I would have probably exploited it. <laughs> Fixed a bug that sometimes prevented modifications to augments on your gear from saving after exiting a multiplayer session and joining a single player session. For now, for me personally, these bug fixes are minor. They don't affect my gameplay in any way, shape or form. Uh, at least nothing major anyway. I'm sure it may be the case for some of you guys as well, but I'm looking forward to the next patch updates, the patch notes with the big... the big bug fixes that you know main issues like connectivity and stuff like that and matchmaking but let's move on to the changes they've brought in the release so what you guys are seeing on the screen now are changes in this release uh it starts off with heat waves molten skin and turtle and the turtles shell have had their damage reduction reduced from 100 percent to 90 percent i personally use um what's it called the turtle shell it's a really good uh item Due to some players exploiting certain mission mechanics, vehicle kills during Gizmo support squad missions no longer grant XP. You are still awarded XP for mission selection, uh, mission completion. Sorry. With the fix to burning damage, players will be less likely to get the same mastery level as before. As a result, we will be creating new leaderboards in the interest of fairness. Fear not, though, as we will be archiving the existing leaderboards or so those currently. Atop the rankings will live on in infamy. Yeah, nobody. I don't think anybody really cares about that. To be fair, <laughs> let's be real here. Don't it, it, nobody cares about the leaderboards, man. With the fix coming to burning damage scaling and hearing the concerns around hitting a wall when climbing mastery levels, we have reduced enemies' health scaling for mastery levels forty six and above. To keep things challenging, enemies at mastery level forty six and above will now deal more damage. And that's it for this video, guys. That they were all the patch notes. Uh, you know bug fixes changes everything like that to me this feels more like a hot fix than a patch uh, i don't think i needed 23 gigabytes of uh update you know uh, storage or whatever on the pc because that's what i play it 
Uh, but yeah, this is it. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comments. If you guys want to see more Suicide Squad videos, do let me know because I am really enjoying this game and I do want to cover some more content on this. So yeah, that's it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Brown Yoda signing off.